everyone is George Kroos with another episode of the Innovators Mindset podcast and I hope you are having a wonderful day. I hope you're feeling rested. I hope you're ready for the day, the week ahead of you and I just wanted to share with you probably a really short podcast but something I've been thinking about quite a bit and the reason I've been thinking about it is I've been getting a lot of the same questions lately. People reaching out to me and asking for advice on the next phase of their career and think about you know they want to maybe go into administration they might want to go into an instructional coaching position and so what are some of the things that they can do to kind of get to that next level and i actually just received an email on this last night and i i simply wrote this uh, be present in the moment as you look to the future too often we don't appreciate where we are in the moment because we are so looking forward to the next phase of our career. Give your everything, give your everything to the present and the future will take care of itself. So when I write this, I'm, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm guilty of being very future focused, being focused on what's next for me, what's, what's the next thing that I'm gonna do. And what I really started to try to do and I'm, I'm getting, I think I'm getting better, but I still obviously need to grow, is really trying to do the best I can where I am in the moment. And it's not to say you don't have goals. It's not to say that you don't have things that you, you should look forward to. But I think sometimes we become so focused on things in the present that we don't take time and appreciate where we are right now. I know uh, at some points in my career, uh, as soon as I remember becoming an assistant principal, as soon as I became an assistant principal, I wanted to become a principal. And I know that's something for me. And it actually took me a while to get to the point where I just really appreciated being an assistant principal, where I appreciated being um, at that point in my career. And at first it was, you know, I was doing things to become a principal not doing things to become the best assistant principal that I could be. And I, I, I don't know if that makes sense as I'm saying it, um, but it, there's, there is this one anecdote in The Last Dance, and I've been thinking about it so much. Um, it, the, my, the Last Dance documentary, uh, Michael Jordan documentary, I loved it. I've watched it like probably seven times already. Just watch it uh, for inspiration, just love the storytelling. But one of the things that they said, uh, someone actually had said about Michael Jordan specifically that I thought was really interesting and thought about, you know, how it pertains to this advice and is really why I've been thinking a lot about this in the moment. He said that Michael Jordan, one of the things that he did so much better than everyone else and which was made him so great was that he wasn't worried about the, the end of the game shot. He wasn't worried about if he would miss. He was just so fully present in the moment. And that's what actually made him really successful. And I think that when you kind of go through your, your work, the, the things where you are in your career, I think when you do really well at your job, when you're really focused, not only do you appreciate what you have and what is in that moment, you tend to get really good at what you're doing, but you also end up building something where it is gonna take you to the next point in your career, the next space in your career. If we are so focused on getting that next job that we aren't doing our current job that well, it's not gonna bode well for our future. And I, I think about this analogy as well, that importance of being present and why it, it matters so much. And I, I think about, you know, those long term goals that we have. And sometimes they become so overwhelming that we don't get to that space because we're not focused on what we're doing right now. And I run quite a bit. I try to anyway, I used to be a really good runner, but I'm, you know, old bones now, but I'm trying to get better. And one of the things that I do, and I know this sounds weird, is when I'm running up a hill and hills can be so terrible for me, uh, really struggle, I can become super overwhelmed by looking at the top of that hill and thinking about how hard it is going to get to that point. And, and sometimes what that will do in my head when I see that top of that hill 
is I actually quit running. I'll start walking and I'll start, you know, putting all the self doubt into my head, all of these things that, you know, don't help me. So what I've actually done to be, uh, to get to the top of the hill is I look basically down four or five steps ahead of me. And what I'm focusing on is those four or five steps. And I do those four or five steps. Then I do the next four or five steps. You keep doing that over and over again. And eventually you're at the top of the hill. And as I'm saying this, it reminds me of a Will Smith story talking about how um, one summer he, his dad, you know, made him lay bricks perfectly over and over again. And he was so frustrated. And he said, you know, do that one at a time. Um, and eventually you have a wall as you create this. And I'm probably telling the story terribly, but if, if you ever, that story, you know, really always is stuck with me. And I, I do the same thing with weightlifting. I don't focus on, oh, I got an hour to work out. I focus on, okay, here are the exercises I'm going to do. Focus on the one that you're doing right now. And then that gets done. Then you focus on the next. And all of a sudden, you've done your workout. And you're, you're thinking about those long-term goals. I also think about, you know, doing this podcast. Uh, when I blog, when I write emails and connect with people, I'm not, I'm focused on doing the best in the moment that I can. I'm focused on enjoying this. I actually look forward to sitting down and reflecting and sharing with people some of my thoughts because it's actually me sharing with myself as well, kind of talking these things out. It's why I don't use the script. It's why I don't, um, you know, plan all this stuff out. I just like sitting down and having this conversation. I'm not trying to get something to go viral or anything like that. I just want to, you know, focus on the moment, focus on the present. So as I said, it's amazing to have those long-term goals. And I think they're important. I think those goals, you know, drive a lot of what we're doing, but try to be in the present, try to appreciate what you have, try to give it your all, especially when we talk about education. Um, if we are so, and this happens in education all the time, we focus on our, like our five-year plans and, 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 it's, and the kids are thinking, well, what about us that are here right now? They're not going to be here in five years. And I think that it's great to have those five-year plans or 10-year plans or whatever. Nobody planned for COVID, by the way. But as my co-author of Innovate Inside the Box, Katie Novak, said, and has always resonated with me, the students in grade three this year, this is their one year in grade three. How do we ensure that's the best experience possible? And really being in that moment and, and giving your all. And you do that and eventually those goals that you have, they're gonna come to you, but you also have kind of got to that space where you also appreciate it and, and can look back and be really proud of the moment, the work that you're doing in the past as well. And so, just some thoughts. I just wanted to do like a quick little podcast to share as I've been getting, you know, questions on that, but just keep doing what you're doing and appreciate the present, appreciate that moment that you're in right now, because um, once it's gone, you don't get it back. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for all you do. I hope you have an uh, amazing week ahead. Take care. Bye.